Hey guys, welcome back to Power Apps Learning Channel. Today we'll be looking at how a regular user can cancel the running flow instance for his own records. So before moving further, of course, I would like to tell you that uh, we will be using a premium connector. Uh, and of course, you have to have the flow per user or Power Apps per user license. Or if you have Azure subscription, you can go with the Logic Apps also. That would be the cheaper option. So let's try to understand why a user might want to cancel the flow. Of course, it might be possible that he entered some wrong information in the record. You want to delete it and start over again, or the approver is on vacation. So the flow is waiting and stuck and the user wants to cancel it and assign it to someone else, or the end user might already might have taken the approval offline and he wants to cancel the process. So there could be any reason where user might want to cancel the workflow. So how we are going to do it and who can cancel the workflow actually. Uh, with the SharePoint Online, of course, we are using Power Automate to create the flows. And the regular user, of course, they can't access the flow. They are not flow owner. They are not admin users, so they won't be able to access it. With the flow owner and tenant admin, of course, they can access it. They can access the flow. They can access the run history. They will be able to cancel it. So the flow owner can cancel it. Regular user won't be able to cancel it. Now the flow admin or the flow owner or the tenant admin, they can do it. They just go to the flow, go to the run history, look for the flow instance, which is running for that particular record. They can cancel it manually. But would it be possible to automate it? Can uh, whenever the user change the status to cancel, can we automate this canceling the running flow instances? Yeah, that's what we'll be looking at now. We will be able to do that and how we are going to do it. We'll just, we'll jump into it. So these are the steps we have to follow. First, we have to modify your main flow, the current flow, which is your approval flow, which is running on your list or whatever data source you are using. So you have to change the trigger condition over there uh, so that it won't get triggered whenever user change the status to canceled. We will create another flow which will actually do our job canceling the running flow instances. It will, uh, this flow will handle that part. Now we will use the trigger condition here as a status is equal to cancel. So whenever the status, user change the status of the record as canceled, the second flow will get triggered. And in this flow, we will make, we will generate the API URL. This is what we will be using uh, to cancel the flow instance. There are APIs exposed for the flows, which you will, you will be able to call to get the flow details, update the flow, cancel the flow, delete the flow. You will be able to do a lot of uh, things with the APIs. And to invoke those API URLs, we'll be using, making use of Azure, uh, as already HTTP request action. So here I have added the trigger conditions. We I will show you how I have added it in the flows. And let's just move ahead. So let's just understand uh, the URLs, uh, how we can generate the API URL, which will be used to cancel the particular instance. So let's just switch to the SharePoint. This is my list. And this is a record which user want to cancel. I already have a flow instance URL here in my record itself. If you want to know how I have done it, I've already created a video on this where we can get the running flow instance URL and store it in the record itself. So it's very handy for user. It's very handy for the admin to know which is the running instance and they can just click on it and open it. Okay, this is my running flow instance and they can just check the logs if it is stuck, if the if it is failed, why it's failed, where is the status, where is it stuck, you can check all of that. Now this is my flow running running flow instance URL. I'll just copy it and put it here. It's already here, I've put it here. And this is the URL API URL which you need to generate and call it using your HTTP action. Now let's understand what is the difference between these two. So if I take you back to the slide. Uh, it's your region.flow.microsoft.com here. It's just api.flow.microsoft.com. Then you have manage environments here. It is providers microsoft.process simple. And rest part is same, which is your tip environment ID, flows, flow ID, run, run ID. 
everything is same at the end you just need to add cancel which is the endpoint and the api version now you might wonder where will you get the api version and how can you how will you come to know about this particular format of this api url so let's go back here and i'll just open the developer tool let's just refresh this page so we are on the flow portal we are just accessing a regular flow we are just going to the flow details and let it load completely okay let me just stop this it's done now and i'll just filter it on api version where you can see the first uh, first record i'll just open this and check out the request url so if i copy it here so even the flow portal of course uh, it it makes calls to the apis to get the data to load the data over here and those are the apis we will be using to cancel the running flow instance so you can see it it's same api.flow.microsoft.com providers process simple rest of the part is same and you can see the api version also of course this is the version uh, api version which is available it might change in future you you just cross check it with your tenant uh, using this approach you will be able to understand which is the api version you, your flow or your tenant is using so yeah that's how i i got the api details and this api version parameter now what next job what we need to do is generate this particular url and then we will make a call to it now to generate the api url what we'll be doing is this url we already have in our sharepoint list so if i show you back here we already have stored it in the list record itself so we can get it and we'll just make small changes here we'll replace this part with this one and we'll remove this and just have api here and append a uh, cancel and api version parameter that's all so your this url will be ready so now let's just move to the another flow the flow which i was talking about the second flow here so let just let me show you that flow just close this developer tool this is my main flow you can see uh this particular instance is here you have this running instance which is running and we want to cancel this running instance now i can do it manually as admin but we want to automate it so whenever an end user comes here he will edit the record change the status to cancel we want this instance to get cancelled automatically now the end user can't do it because he don't have access he is not flow owner he can't he can't access this particular flow details or run history i can do it but i we want to automate it because there might be thousands of records and hundreds of requests coming in a day or in a week we don't want to waste our time doing all these things and now moving to the other flow which we are talking about yeah this is my flow which we have used to uh, cancel the running flow instances now let me just show you what happens here right now there's hardly anything in this flow i've just added a trigger which is item modified so whenever uh, this item get modified this flow will get triggered that too on a specific condition because we just want it we don't want it uh, to get it triggered always we want it to get triggered on when the status is changed to cancel so this is a uh, trigger condition you need to add uh, as is, it is a choice column you have to add it like this value and it's cancel equal function trigger body approval status value and cancel so this for this flow will get triggered whenever you just change the status to cancel now we already have the flow running instance url what we will be doing here is we will be as i said we'll just change it to uh, the api url the way we want it so i've just replaced some of the part you can see it here i'll put it in the description uh, and we have appended this details which is cancel and the parameter api version so this will give us the api url which we will call and it will cancel the running flow instance here this one okay now let's just how we are going to do it so let's just see there are multiple uh, options here you can use the http default http connection as well or you can use 
uh, the Azure uh, Azure AD connection as well. So HTTP connection, I avoided this because you have to do some more configuration, provide the authentication details and all that. With the Azure AD connection, you don't need to do it. Uh, it's already there. Just one second. It's already there. You just have to configure it for the first time and uh, provide the base URLs and you'll be able to use it. So let's just do that. Okay, so let me just select this and this is the one which we'll be using. As I said before, these are the premium uh, actions. You have to have the flow per user or power as per user license, or you can uh, create a logic apps and use it there by default. Uh, these are the standard actions in the logic apps. So I'll just click on this and just creating the connection. So you have to provide for the first time, you have to provide the base URLs and Azure AD resource URI. So the base URL, of course, it would be api.pro.microsoft.com so i have already put it somewhere let me just get it from here api.pro.microsoft.com that's what you need to enter here and for the azure ad this is already registered you don't need to register it with the azure ad uh, this application the flow application is already registered and this is the url of it service.pro.microsoft.com so just note down these urls and uh, once you provide it, just click on sign in. And should be there in a minute. Okay. So we have signed in. Now uh, the next part is we have to provide the URI of URL of your API, which we have generated in the previous action. So I'll just select the output method. Of course, it would be post because we are doing a cancel. Headers, you can add a content type application JSON. Even if you don't add it, it should be fine. I'll just add it. Yeah, so that's in this flow. That's what uh, is needed. So we have generated the API URL and we have invoked that particular uh, API. So let me just save this and let's just go back. We will see all runs here. Now what? I'll be doing is we'll go back here we will update this record and we will see if our cancel flow get triggered and it will cancel uh, this particular instance here which is running right now okay so let's just open this edit uh, form okay another thing if you see here uh, this is not a power apps customized form this is with just in formatting, I have formatted this form to rearrange these fields. I've created a separate video for this also. I'll put the link above or in the description. You can just go and have a look. You will be able to rearrange the fields using with simple JSON formatting. So here we will be canceling it. So I'll just change the status to cancel and that's all. So user will just come here. We'll change the status to cancel. Of course, this is not correct way because he might reject an approval. So so you have to define your uh, user interface properly. I've just here, I'm just using it for demo. Either you can use customized forms or you have a separate independent Power Apps app where they won't be able to see the approved and rejected actions. They can just cancel it uh, as an end user. So canceled and save. Okay, now this record is canceled. So what we want is we want our flow, the cancel flow to get trigger and it should cancel the running flow instance, which is running this one. Let's just go here and refresh it to see if this get triggered. It might take a minute uh, and we'll see. Yeah, it's here. So the flow got triggered and you can see it here. So let me just click on it and it has ran successfully already we got the api url to cancel the flow this is the one which we wanted to cancel and it has invoked it successfully now let's just go back to here so this was the running instance i'll just click on all runs and you can see it is cancelled now so this was the instance we which was running and it got cancelled automatically you don't need now any admin uh, intervene uh, to come and cancel here, it will get cancelled automatically from the other flow. So 
let me just show you here so what we did whenever a regular user and user can come here change the status of the record to cancelled we have triggered this flow which will actually hit this particular api url and cancel the running flow instances let's just go back to the presentation Yeah, this is I've just added some screenshots here for the reference how we can configure this Azure AD HTTP invoke action. You need to provide these base URLs and that, that's how you need to provide the URL of your uh, flow instance which you want to cancel. And these are the details. I hope it was pretty much clear. Uh, this will really help because uh, this will stop the further approval notification if you have sequential five level four level approvals one after another if the flow get cancelled the next uh, approval notification will stop there itself otherwise the record is deleted the flow approvals actions are orphan and it keeps on going further so we, do, we want to avoid that and we don't want a lot of flows to be in a running state so whenever user wants to cancel it they should be able to do it it's just that as i said these are the premium actions either you go with the at least you have to get the one license uh, or you can go with the uh, azure subscription and make use of logic apps so i hope this was helpful and if you need any help or if you have any better approach if you need something need some more clarification you can put it in the comments i'll add all the details in the description or wherever i can add the links i'll add the links above uh, i hope this will help you guys thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for another video soon